The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, The Rolling Stones, Sympathy for the Devil, Kenny Wayne Shepherd before that, and Blue on Black. And Jane's Addiction with a song I just love hearing on the radio, Been Caught Stealing. Good afternoon, it's Opie and Anthony. Hey. hey. What's hey. up? Hey there. <laughs> have, a, have a good little weekend? A very mellow weekend. A little Easter thing. I don't, our family doesn't really do the Easter thing. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. Yeah. We're kind of religious, but we just kind of blow that holiday off, which is kind of strange. Interesting. Took the folks out to eat. Yeah. What else could you do with folks, you know? <laughs> eat. Eat. That's what you, you, your relationship boils down to after, uh, after a while. After a while, it's eating. You have one thing in common. Eating. Eating, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, uh, kind of sad. No, nah, uh, you know, it was fun to see them. What do you do? Anything? Well, uh, you know, Italian, huh? Italian Easter, forget Easter, about huh? it. You forget know, about it. The whole family had a great little uh, Easter get-together over at the uh, parents' house there. At the grandma c- over and everything. At the complex? At the compound. At uh, the compound, I mean, sorry. Yeah, all the, all the relatives, you know, come over and uh, we um, had Easter dinner and then uh, watched this uh, final episode of The Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, when I tell you, when you're watching it with your uh, family like that, uh, you can relate, just, huh? Yeah, just something about that show. Yeah, yeah. All right, did you break out the mattresses and stuff? Yeah, or? we went to the mattresses. Went to the uh, mattresses. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, had a good little weekend. Very good. Did a little, uh, took a little of Rick's inspiration for a, a Yoshi song. We me, have and a- me and Joe got together and uh, threw that one down. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Yoshi song is going to be uh, debuted in less than an hour here. Yeah, yeah. Now, also, I brought in some stuff today. What do you got? I brought in that uh, the the tape we were listening to on the way in. Oh yeah, I got to hear Friday. this again. Now the story goes, I got to find it, so we can't play it here. But uh, this will be a little tease. Uh, you know, Mo on The Simpsons, mm-hmm. where he gets the prank calls from Bart. Yeah. I guess there was a tape that was floating around that that that's what that was based on the inspiration the inspiration for that and i found the tape in my archives all right it's pretty funny it's a real old sounding alcoholic guy that uh is the bartender at this bar and they're just pranking him with the, the goofy names a la the simpsons yeah they give him the names and he yells them out and like like anthony said that's where the inspiration came it's hysterical yeah really funny so we'll get that on the radio in a little while also uh as i was digging through our archives i found that mary poppins song Oh, really? We yeah, I remember the, that one. See, we missed the boat on something. Remember mm. uh, they were talking about pot and legalizing it mm-hmm. uh, for some people that uh, just need it to, to make the pain go away? Yeah, the pain of chemo or uh, glaucoma, they say. Yeah. So, yeah, using pot for medical reasons. It was all over the media, what, two weeks ago or so? Mm-hmm. We have a great song about that that we totally forgot about. The Mary Poppins pot. So uh, I'm going to get that ready, and we'll we'll play something really cool next. So. All right. So we got the Yoshi, we got the prank call thing, we got the Mary Poppins. Your phone calls. Your phone calls, your faxes, 212-957-WNEW, and uh, lots of stupidity. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW Creed from the debut CD, My Own Prison. That's one. And a lot of a-holes checking in today. What do you got? A lot of people in bad moods. Jim from Jersey, would you please stop playing this stupid Creed song every damn day? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, people getting off uh, on the wrong foot here. You think? Well, then yeah. we got um, Emily Yeah. Uh, from New York City. She loves the pictures of Suzanne and Tara. Right. Those two battling it out this coming Friday for the hottest girl to pose naked on the Opie and Anthony show. And, uh, and she said uh, she'd do either one of them. Oh, that's kind of nice, Emily. Thank you for that. What's with Randy in Jersey? And then we got Randy from Jersey. Hey, did you guys know you're very butt ugly? Ah. Randy, why are you noticing if we're hot or not? Yeah, would you would you even write to a guy to tell him if he's attractive or not? What I, the I, I, hell? Find, I find that a little weird. I've I've never in my life said a guy was hot. Well, Randy, I I find you uh, very attractive. <laughs> Sorry you feel that way. I thought maybe we'd date. That's out there, Randy. Yeah, that is a little weird. You're, mm. you're taking uh, too close of a look, I Whatever. think. Whatever. Everyone looks be- a little more attractive through the glory hall. Remember <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, oh, brother. Let's see what the people have today. Mm-hmm. Hi, N.E.W. Hey, guys. Um, I was calling to tell you that last week I was in Hollywood, and I was having lunch at this restaurant, and uh, 
Andrew Dice Clay came in through the back door and sat next to me. And he's, really? He's in his, like, gold gym sweatshirt and sweatpants, and he starts smoking a cigarette and everything. And it's, like, a real elegant restaurant. Everyone's dressed up. And, and he was dressed like a slob? Well, yeah, he was. Is Dice in here? Let me get him in. Maybe uh, Rick, open the door. Dice real. just happens to be hanging out on the couch. He wants some mic time. What is this? A jackass hat? Hey, Dice, you were in L.A.? Hey, hey asshole. Hey, yeah. asshole. Yeah. What, do you say you saw me? I saw you. In I California, saw, huh? I saw you and your wife and your kid. Yeah, well, I wasn't even in California. <laughs> jerk off. You're a jerk off. <laughs> you think I go into nice restaurants dressed like a slob? Like you? You jerk off. Huh? Uh, What's the I, matter? You can't talk, you, you asshole, huh? I saw you there. You're an ass. <laughs> what What did he order? Yeah, I, what, did, what did the dice have? I didn't want to bother him. I, I really, we had to leave before he got his food and everything. I just saw him eating the bread. Hey, look, you don't have better things to do than look and see what the dice is doing, huh? <laughs> did you buy my new album? Hell no. Yeah, he's an asshole. <laughs> I could tell this guy's a jerk off. He's looking at me. <laughs> yeah, what did you want? My tube steak? <laughs> he wanted to steal my tube steak while we're having dinner. I saw you. You uh, jerk off. I was also, a snap ahead. You know who else came in? Oh. Sandra Bernhardt. Ugh. Her and her lesbo lover She's and their died. kid. Yeah. And their kid? Yeah. Oh, that's right. She's got a kid now. Oh. That's cute. Yeah, look, Mr. I'm, I'm in Hollywood looking at the stars. Looking at what the stars eat. Why don't you get yourself abroad, huh? <laughs> what are you, fag or something? You got to look at what the dice man's doing. Envy the dice man that I could wear crappy clothes in a nice place, huh? What were you, what, in a, 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 a schmuckzito? <laughs> Jerk off. Hang up on this asshole. I don't need this crap from these people. They watch me like a hawk. Hey, Dice, they got to watch me. Your album's doing great in New York. My album's kicking ass. Yeah. I, filth. I see that. Dice, filth. It's back to being the old Dice, not the sweet, cuddly, coochie-coo postman Dice. Well, now I curse. I use the C word. I use Snapperhead. I use... Well, well, Dice, Anthony saw you a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. What'd you think? Well, he said... I, I, I actually, it wasn't as bad... As um as I thought it was going to be. Oh, Anthony. Not on. as bad. Look, see? Not as bad as he thought it was going to be. Well, he didn't say that it, it's great, Dice. Actually, yeah. uh, Opie, it sucked. What do you mean sucked? <laughs> I got your money, asshole. I got your money. <laughs> well, Dice, I think he said that everyone was laughing at you, not with you. How could he tell? Huh? He was in the front row. He can't tell if they're laughing. They were laughing at the Dice Man's jokes. Damn funny. You can't it's even... back to the die dice of the 80s. Remember the dice man, 1985. Hickory dickory dug. This chick was ugly. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. Don't you have any updated poems? Well, you want new poems? Yeah, give us a new one. Something new. Something topical. All right. The old mother Hubbard lived in a cupboard, but it's better than Kosovo. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great stuff. <laughs> Better than your crap. <laughs> I listen to your show. It sucks, all right? <laughs> all right, could, Dice, could you leave? Yeah, I'll be happy to get out of here. All right, later, Snap Dice. Yeah, time. yeah, that's it. There he goes, the Jesus. Dice man. What a thrill having him on. Hey, is it true Larry Flint's calling us today? Is that what I'm hearing? The Larry Flint? The Larry from, Flint. From Hustler Magazine? Yeah. This guy's like a hero. It, yeah, he's a god. <laughs> Can I get him on the stand him? Man, I like vaginas and boobies. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. It's Sophie and Anthony. Got to break into the music here because uh, live on our phone lines right now is Larry Flint, Anthony. Larry Flint, uh, publisher of Hustler Magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, he's coming out with the Flint Report tomorrow. I got a copy uh, right here. I just uh, started browsing through it, but he's got dirt on all sorts of Republicans. Larry Flint unmasks the hypocrites. That's right. Mr. Flint. Hello. Hey, there he is. That's Larry. Larry. Flint. How are you? Fine. How you doing? Good. It's Sophie and Anthony. Thanks for checking in today. Wow. Glad to be with you. All right. Now, uh, you got the Flint report coming out tomorrow. Yellow. Yeah. You got the Flint report coming out tomorrow, Larry, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, we just got our copies uh, minutes ago. Didn't have time to browse through it, unfortunately. So what can you tell us about this? 
Well, it's a historical document. Uh, no one has published anything like it for uh, that period of time. And what kind of, what? We wanted the American people to be able to see a cross-section of their legislators uh, for how they really are and emphasize that they're not to put them on a pedestal or idolize them because they suffer from the same weaknesses and frailties that we all do. Now, why are you focusing only on the Republicans? You know... I've been asked that question numerous of times, and I swear to you that everything that came in was on Republicans. You know, there's <laughs> been some wisdom in Washington, D.C. when it comes to scandal. With sex, with Democrats, and with Republicans, it's money. But in actuality, it's the complete opposite. Hmm. All Interesting. Right. Now, now I, I think that's because these uh, those right wing Republicans are more repressed. You know, they're not in the liberal mode. You know, so they have to uh, go behind closed doors and get yeah. a hand job from hookers and stuff. They're always in the closet, you know, <laughs> and they always get caught. Now, can you um, give us a little bit of what's going to be in this tomorrow? Oh uh, well, we've got uh, we've got the complete report on, of course, Livingston and Bob. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got uh, uh, Chenowitz. Now, now, what what kind of dirt do you have on Mary Bono? Well, uh, it's obvious that uh, Mary was having an affair while while Sonny was in Congress, and uh, I just thought the way she took a holier than now position with the impeachment committee and. And voted for impeaching the president. That uh, uh, mm. that really smacked of the park in a big way. So. Any chance of getting her uh, naked in a future uh, Hustler <laughs> magazine? No, I doubt that. I mean, she, she, you know, she's even denying the affair. But we we've got three different sources. <laughs> look at the look of them as her former mother and all. Look at what Larry's turned into, man. What are you doing? I, I, I like the Larry Flint that just put the uh, naked chicks in the magazine. I mean, now you're like uh, this investigative reporter. Well, 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 smart's still my vocation, but politics <laughs> is my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being a kid, it was just, you know, if you got a Playboy or a Penthouse, that was one thing. Mm -hmm. But if you could score a Hustler, that was like, that was like gold. That was like doing smack. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's rewarding now when uh, these people come up to me on the street and say, uh, I, I just want to shake your hand and thank you for helping me make it through puberty. <laughs> and suddenly I realized we've been around for 25 years, so we probably have a lot of a lot of young boys. Uh, hey, hey, Larry, don't you think it's ironic though that you you pump out a hustler magazine, but you can't even spank one out yourself? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be terrible, man. You know, I mean, you you get to look at all these hotties and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How does uh, someone like Larry Flint uh, get off? No, I, I, you know, I'm you know, just as active as I ever was. Really? Can you can you sport wood, or you need one of the pumps, or something? Uh, you no, know, my injury was not to my spinal cord. It was to uh, uh, the bundle of nerves at the base of my spinal. Cord. Oh, so you still get action? Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice. Well, that's good. I, 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 I thought you weren't getting action. Positions are limited, you know. Hey, they, <laughs> his positions are limited. <laughs> they never caught. They never caught who shot you. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's on death row for a oh, couple yes. of unrelated uh, shootings. You sure it's him? Uh, yeah, I'm relatively. Mm. All right. Now, uh, with this Flint report coming out tomorrow, you also have something on Governor Bush. A lot of people thinking he's going to be the next uh, candidate for president. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, uh, I, you know, there's no doubt about it. You know, 
he 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 put a wild guy and he's younger years, but I don't think that should disqualify him for uh, uh, running for president. Uh, oh, I don't think anyone's sexual attitude or preference should disqualify him, but I still think that in the year 2000, it's still going to be a question that's going to be asked about all the candidates. Of course. Hey, why doesn't Larry Flint run? Now, that'd be something. <laughs> then at least if there's some uh, some gash in the Oval Office, everyone will understand why. <laughs> it's Larry Flint. <laughs> hey, you think Monica's hot or you think she's a pig? Like, would you put her in your magazine naked? I her and Linda show for my best excuses for not watching television. <laughs> <laughs> I think a hustler spread, Linda Tripp and uh, Monica uh, and their fists. You know what I mean? <laughs> now that would sell some copies. <laughs> Working each other like hand puppets. Right, Larry? Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, the Flint Report comes out tomorrow. It's going to be all over the news, obviously. Um, and people can pick this up on the newsstands as well? Yeah. Okay. And we'll find out more about Newt Gingrich and uh, Governor Bush and Mary Bono's in there. I wanted to see a scratch and sniff uh, centerfold, though, in this. But I open it up, I see Newt Gingrich. Why didn't you put any nude chicks in this? Okay. Oh, well, we, we wanted to make sure that we got the widest distribution possible. Oh, I see. Uh, that, yeah, that makes sense. I do see some nip. important document. Page 17, you did sn sneak some boobage in, though. I like that. Let me see. Look. Oh, yeah, there see? you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Larry. Well, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. Okay, guys. Thanks. Hey, did you ever see um, Courtney Love naked when you guys were filming that movie? Uh. <laughs> Is that a yeah, yes? Yeah, I've seen Courtney's Bush a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. What would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Courtney's uh, for... Courtney is uh, wild. Yeah, wild. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet you she showed you some stuff. Mm. She had nice cans in that movie, too. Yeah. Did yeah. she show you her uh, balloon knot? <laughs> balloon knot. <laughs> That's one of the great uh, things about Hustler. You see balloon knots in Hustler. They're bent over everything. Well, All right, Larry doesn't want to play. All right, Larry. Well, Mr. Flint, thanks for checking in today. Okay, guys. We'll all go out and get the Flint report tomorrow, okay? All right, bye. All right, it's Larry Flint, everyone. <laughs> wow. You know, he kind of... What do they do when they're interviewing him on TV where he's talking and stuff? What is that, an animatronic Larry that they got on TV? I thought he was in, uh, thought he was in Kosovo with the delay. Larry, how's the bombing there? Oh, uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look at me talking. If I took a bullet, I'd be dead. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't know what we learned there, but <laughs> that he well, no, we learned that he saw Courtney Love naked, and she's got a nice bush, <laughs> and she's wild. <laughs> That's worth the price of admission, right there. I was sorting through any political bull crap. All right. <laughs> Larry Flint. I guess that's another Opie and Anthony exclusive. Oh, of course. I'll be. That'll be on uh, USA Today, I'm sure. Some quotes from that interview. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, we're starting to get a lot of sponsors on our radio show. Yes. I especially like the sponsors that are trying to save our listeners money. And uh, have free services to do so. Without a doubt. And Auto Finance of America is another one of these services trying to save you some money. How much are you paying on your uh, car payment every month? I Two, three, four hundred a month? Uh, I pay too much. Yeah, a lot of people are. And did you realize that you could refinance your car payment? Interest I rates are lower now. So if you refinance your car loan, your monthly payments will be less. They're talking they could save you possibly 30 40 maybe even $50 every single month. And over the term of a loan, Ant, that could add up to like 1000 saved. Think of how many of Larry Flint's Hustler magazines you could buy with the savings. <laughs> My God. An incredible amount. Uh, all it takes is a phone call to see what they can do for you. It's free. Free number. Call 1-800-993-1000. Anthony, before we go back into the music, uh, Larry Flint called back, and uh, he wants to say a, a few more words here. Uh, Mr. Flint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I almost forgot. You almost forgot what, Mr. Fine people also find my 
my Hustler magazine. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, there's features. Uh, girls uh, look like uh, they got Fidel Castro eating a London broil in their lap. <laughs> That's what Hustler's all about. Yeah, a little less classy than uh, Playboy and Penthouse. Uh, we just go right for the meat and potatoes. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Flint. Hello? Uh, oh, you're still there? Okay. Um, I was napping. No, i got to ask you something. You're probably a billionaire, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, billionaire. So why didn't you use some of that money to get some acting lessons before uh, you filmed that movie? Uh, you know, you were, the, you were the judge in that movie? I thought I did quite well mm. for a smut peddler. <laughs> I am the judge. It's hard to talk. I got a vagina over my head. Yeah, to be honest with you, it it, it took us right out of the movie when you came on the screen. Your uh, your acting was. Um... Sorry, it's muffled. There's three naked girls sitting on my head. <laughs> hard for me to talk. All right, Mr. Flint. Well. Uh, uh, well, thanks for uh, calling back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is it time for your nap? Uh, are you gonna go? To, are you gonna go to happy hour with uh, Stephen Hawkins? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have wheelchair races. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, okay. All right. Where did Where did Anthony Where did Anthony go? Larry Larry Flynn yeah. calls back in, and uh, and Anthony is nowhere to be seen. Ant. 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 You just missed yeah. Larry Flynn. He called. No, we, we talked to him already. No, right? it, he called back in. He just wanted oh, to damn. add some stuff to the conversation. Oh, I had so many unanswered questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <sighs> Two seven W N E W the Rock of New York with Everlast. What it's like? You're hanging with Opie and Anthony. Hey man, what's up, buddy? Hey! Whoa! What the heck? Are you are you? Yoshi. Hello. Hello. What the hell? You just a pedal from a Yoshi's on kitchen. Hey, I have an order. Yeah, Yoshi. You order. Open. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, order. Oh, food you order. Well, we did order everything. We do a obi obi order the chung pan chung pork. Yeah, that's mine. Sir uh, Anthony, you have the uh, chung pan chung pork. pork. <laughs> Rick, you have a chung pan chung pork with a brown sauce. <laughs> and a chung pan chung. Who got the one two chung pan chung? That would be Mark. Mark, you got the uh, chung pan chung and the chung pork. Right here, because you bring everything. You know, you Risk know. life and limb. Pedder down street. Almost get hit by a taxi cab. <laughs> no, you know, many times. You sound like one of those model uh, airplanes when you talk. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't understand. Something missing from bag. Can't find. Ah, shit. Hockey mushrooms. What? Cannot find shiitake mushrooms. Oh, you scared me. Oh, here they are. That's for the boss. What? I just say shiitake mushrooms. Okay, all right. Don't understand why you get so upset when I go, hey, shit! Hockey mushrooms. <laughs> hey! Now, Yoshi. <laughs> we order food from your restaurant, what, twice yes, a week? Yes, very good. Twice a week. Twice, twice a week. Usually. I leave a menu for you. Yeah, I know, under everyone's doors. Yes. We all have 100 menus. We don't need any more menus from Yoshi's never uh, restaurant. Know, never know. All right. You might need more. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> now, listen. And I change menu. You did? Yes, that's why I leave new one. Oh. What well, if you notice, at the last one, see, it says, chang, chang, chang. Park. Right. Here, had to change to... <laughs> That's totally different. What's the difference? A very different flavor. Oh, okay. You had a time like pork made with huang tang, but she and huang tang. Now listen. Huang tang pork made with huang tang, huang tang and huang tang. You sound like you're stupid. You don't know. You're sounding like that uh, model airplane again. Don't even know what they talk about. <laughs> now listen. Hey. We order from you twice a week. Usually you just leave it in the lobby and Rick gets it and he yes. passes it out to the whole staff. Why did you insist on coming on, in, onto our show and uh, jumping in here? Well, I know this radio station. Right. Radio station. Correct. 
maybe you help Yoshi. Yeah. Get out of a uh, kitchen. What do you mean? Into a rock and roll scene. How are we gonna do that? Yoshi have a song. Yoshi has a song. Yoshi have a song. <laughs> I have a small part in this okay. song, but it's about me. There's a song about you now, Yoshi. About me and my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> you see me on the street every day. Uh, we'll Ride my bike, big chain. Yeah. Hey! Oh, uh, we feel honored. We're going to debut it here on uh, our show? Debut here. Okay. Hey! Uh, this is it right here? Yes, about me and my uh, bicycle. All right, what's the name of this thing? I don't know. You don't know? It's a... Uh, <laughs> it's a. Well, I think you know once you pray it. All right, let's play it. Uh, pray it. That's what I said. I, I, pray it. I said play it. Pray. Play. <laughs> hey. Hello, here is the kitchen. What are you order? Champagne. Wine. Champagne. How about a enemy? There's a man who meddles into danger. If you eat Chinese food, this guy's no stranger. He's weaving down the block. Uh, what you want to be for pork? The man will risk his life to bring you egg rolls. Little Asian man, little Asian man. He may just get run over while bringing you low. Basket's rusted. That's the wonder so. The seat is wrapped in tape. The brakes are busted. He used his shoes to stop. That's when he hit that cop. Who still finds bits of rice inside his holster. Little Asian man. Little May just get run over while bringing you low main. Out the way, must the river. You fuck where you go. Do you almost hit the ocean? But no, oh no, out the way. Oh, please get out the way. Don't want to hurt you. Ah, ah. <laughs> hey, you enjoy Yoshi's song. That's a great song you got there, Yoshi. Hey, uh, got the very banged up at the end of song. I see that. Yes. Uh, it was uh, recorded out on street that part. I, very big pile up on 57th Street. <laughs> hey. I smell an MTV video with that. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, the dream I have of being on MTV. <laughs> yes. Get away from my walk. Your what? My wok. Oh, your wok. Okay. That's what I cook in. Yeah, I see. What's the matter with you? <laughs> well, thank you for debuting on my song. I think we're going to be playing that a lot here. But now I have to go to Z100 <laughs> and prog my song. And then K-Lock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yosh. Maybe I could be next to Jesse on MTV. Oh, jeez. Jesse, son. <laughs> Let me try. Okay. Uh, rub this band, man. Very cool. <laughs> I sound stupid enough. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Hey. All right. Well, I, I guess you got to leave. You have yes. other stations to go to to uh, pass out your song. Thank you very much for having Yoshi. Yoshi. Hey. Becoming hey. famous hey. before our eyes, hey. everyone. Yeah. Hey. Boy, that was good, huh? That that was great. Look at him running down the hall. There he goes. With his Pete Rose haircut. <laughs> well, that's the only one he ever had. I know. His whole family has it. Only so many styles you can choose from. Well, got to thank uh, Anthony's uh, brother Joe for <laughs> for helping out Yoshi there. Yoshi said he didn't know how to play any instruments. Well, he back he backed them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> All right, more stupidity on the way. Oh, we're gonna be playing that Buck Cherry song. I like it. Cool. Uh, the cocaine song. Oh, but, oh, but you wouldn't know that oh. if you listen to MTV because they they bleep out cocaine. Yeah, the the biggest part of the song. Like the biggest the part chorus. of the song. Yeah, the chorus. They bleep it out. What? <laughs> that has to go on the air. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, the Scorpions, and uh, the new band before that, Buck Cherry with Lit Up. I love that freaking song, especially the unedited version. 
You see yeah. the video on MTV, and they're uh, they're doing something weird with the the word cocaine, which is yeah, which is the whole hook of the song. But yeah. I guess I guess MTV's too good to have uh, cocaine on their airwaves or something. I don't know. I don't care. Holier than now. But screw all that. It's Opie and Anthony and uh, and Rick who produces the show. And just before this, we went on Mike. Anthony was explaining. Now what? Rick called you at home over the weekend. Rick called. Yeah, called uh, the house. Uh, Jennifer answered the phone. Right. And yeah. Rick, get a mic. I was just uh, getting up to get in the shower, so I have nothing on. I'm walking into the bathroom, and Jen goes, "Rick's on the phone." I go, "Okay." I come back in, but now I got to find my sweats and put them on. Jen's laughing at me, going, "What are you doing? You're getting in the shower." I go, "No, I got to put pants on before I talk to Rick because I don't want to be a phone homo." <laughs> come on, that's almost like having a, a gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk to your pal while you're naked. That's bizarre, but they're just... Uh, bizarre? Why? If I call you, there are some times where you're naked? I, I can't. Jesus, wait, don't wait, even wait, tell wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. Honestly, I can't remember a time because it's not that big of a deal, but there are times like you're coming out of the shower or whatever, and you... Put on a towel before you talk to me on the phone. You happen to be naked, and you have to, you know, answer the phone. Phone homo. That's weird. <laughs> phone homo. You don't talk to guys naked. Now, what's the difference between talking to them naked on the phone, it's a phone. and being in front of them? It's, we don't have the Jetsons video phone yet. You're sitting there, you're talking on the phone, you, what, you look down and there's your Schween and your friend's <laughs> voice is going in your ear. It's just two phone homo. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think that hard on that one. Well, you should. You better. You better start, Pally. See, the thing is, though, I use the phone a lot when I'm on the can. Oh. So what does that do to me? Ah, that's just disgusting. That's like a phone Cleveland steamer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been listening to Friday show to get the reference. No, you can't. You can't talk to people no, on the I've phone. I've been in the situation with Rick where he calls me, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" You could just tell he's taking a dump. Now that's different because you could tell. But if you're naked and I don't know, ah, well, God, and I, wait, and you're not leading on to that, then who cares? I don't know because. But, it, but in in Rick's case, when he's taking a dump and you just know he's taking a dump, then you get the visual, and then you're really grossed out. You want to stand there naked talking to your friend? I don't want with, to with but, with the, with your pal's voice. Going in your ear. I make sure I don't. your rear. <laughs> your I, make, ear. I make sure I don't look down or anything. But I'm, well, I'm why? Like, why bother with that? Put put some pants on. Come to the phone. Because it's too much of a hassle. Yeah, that's no, too much of a problem. It really? No, no, I think I think the problem is standing there with your uh, uh, things waving in the breeze as you're like, yeah, what's up, man? I don't know. You talk about my foibles. I'm not talking about your foibles, and I don't want them swinging <laughs> in the breeze while you're talking to me on the phone. Foibles, quirks, whatever. You. You talk about my quirks. That's a weird quirk. Phone homo. That's weird. For guys on the phone. Now, if it's a hot girl, <laughs> I'll be on the phone naked. <laughs> I don't know. Would you stand there naked talking to your mom on the phone? I, I did that this weekend. Jesus, you are a sick man. <laughs> You're a sick man. She called for Easter, and I was naked. Oh, God, your mother. Well, what am I going to do? Run you upstairs? put pants on. <laughs> you don't talk to your mother on the phone naked. Jiminy Cricket, is that disgusting? She's also interrupted sex. Yeah. But in that, at, at that point, you're naked. Yeah, but you can cover yourself with a sheet. Oh, come <laughs> on. You're. Oh, I almost cursed. Sometimes I forget we're on the radio. I almost said you're effed it's up. It's different because you're not looking, you're not vulnerable, standing out there naked. I don't you're know. covered. Yeah, but then, I you, don't then know, you, got, you, got, you got some. You're pitching a tent on the bed. No. Can you talk to your mom with a rod? Come on. Oh, God, is that bad? Evidently, that's not a problem for you, Ant. And no, it, no. As long no. as you're covered, you can you can be, uh, you know, you no, you can't having be a in, circus going on underneath the sheet. Can't be in states of excitement either. That's that's. Oh, that's no, wrong. of course not. But I'm, I don't know. That's the, you're standing there naked. With your mom on the phone. Uh, yeah, because then, honestly, at that point, I, I, I thought to myself that it was a little weird. You're right. There is just, you know what it is? I'm not retarded. I understand that they can't see you, and there's no real physical contact. It's the whole idea of the audio and visual thing of it. You are seeing yourself naked, and you are hearing the voice of your mom in your head. Do you, do you need that? What if you're looking out a window? 
if you're looking I, out a window, no. what the hell does that have to do I with just, anything? No, honestly, okay, I felt a little weird because I was naked. See? But I, I also knew that it, it, would, it was too much of a hassle to run upstairs, get pants and all that crap. You're looking down at your I, stuff no, and no, your mom is no, talking no. to you about Easter. Ah, <laughs> you're looking at your own eggs. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> you you, you got to throw some pants on when you talk to mom on the phone. Hey, mom, look what the Easter bunny sent yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> mom, I got your present here. I'm going to bring a special Easter basket for you that I have to hold in my lap when you open it. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> look, it's a peep. <laughs> I don't know, man. Speaking of peeps. Yeah. Did you OD oh, on peeps? Oh, man, I had a sugar rush. <laughs> yeah, you OD on those. It's like I heroin. Had, I had the worst headache yesterday because I just really don't yeah. eat a lot of sugar or try not to. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandy made me a, a, a little basket with those stupid uh, pink peeps. Remember, peeps. I, I said like I said I like pink. You said you like the yellow I like ones. the yellow as the standard uh, So, I don't know. She, she uh, left me like three box of those little boxes that have what six each or whatever yeah, they're all stuck together so, you gotta kind of pull them apart sure well one two no eight <laughs> each i had 24 of them oh man that is a, like sugar rush three hours later i had the worst headache imaginable oh my god your pancreas goes into overdrive <laughs> oh <laughs> you can't eat that many peeps hi any w yeah i want a clarification yeah all right you get the service then your buddy then your buddy's call what are you you still a homo or you're a manly man well, what? Uh, well, that happened. Um, no, actually, Anthony heard my voice on his answer machine while he was uh, dogging his wife one afternoon. Dogging. I, I would like the <laughs> term maybe uh, making love, having uh, sex. He was bumping uglies. And dogging I... my wife. I don't think I dog my <laughs> wife. I don't know what you do with your girlfriend, but the thing I do with my wife, I don't call dogging. Come on, there are times you admitted you had you've had retard sex. What's the difference? Dogging, retard sex. Retard sex is different than <laughs> dogging. Well, sometimes you you dog a whore you pick up. Well, sometimes you don't dog your wife. Sometimes or your girl. you want a little role playing in your relationship. Yeah, you're a dirty girl. I'm gonna <laughs> dog you, dog you. I was having sex uh, with my wife, right. and and Opie leaves a message on the machine. It's great. It's like, oh yeah, honey. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, you know, you're getting into it. Yeah, man. But what did you? What you yeah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Help me. Um, yeah, uh, I was thinking today for the show, maybe, um, as a story in the post. If and, and I'm just like, you know, oh, this is great. Opie's on the phone. <laughs> it's like gone, gone. Well, turn down your answer machine. Well, what about if you just kick him back and, you know, you're relaxing and girlfriend's giving you a hummer and just, you know, your phone rings and you just. Well, if, if, the phone. if you're willing to bring your friend in on a little phone threesome like Wait, that, you it's your business. Hello. It's your business. You get off on that? No. Oh, okay. I, I like when my mom's on the phone and, <laughs> and I'm dogging my wife, as Opie said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, we got to fly. All right, thank you a lot. Right. There is definitely, you, you should be clothed talking to certain people on the phone for your own sanity, Opie. Hey, what's your deal, man? Well... I heard that you love talking to naked men or talking to people while naked, so I'm naked so you can talk to me now. <laughs> Come on, Ope, out with it. No, I don't care. Yeah, go ahead, chat it up, Ope. I don't the guy's stock naked. Yeah, have a field day. Are you sporting wood now, Ope? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's Paul. How you doing? That's good, Paul. <laughs> That's good. Very good. Well, add that to the list of uh, quirks for Anthony, all right? Hey, for Opie, not Anthony. That's right. It's, it's, it's an Opie quirk. Yeah. What, look, look at Opie's thinking. Yeah, that, add that to Anthony's quirk list. He agrees with me, Opie. I, I think if we took a poll, more people would say that it's really no big deal. Yeah, your poll is the problem. <laughs> it shouldn't be exposed while you're on the phone. This is just another call for help, Opie. Uh, is it? it? Thank help. you, Paul. Wait, wait, wait. Paul, this. Paul, you've never just, like, talked to someone real fast while while being naked? No, you know, I actually... I actually did get caught on the phone one time. I'm stepping out of the shower. The phone rings. I pick it up. It's someone. And, you know, I actually had to set the phone down to put a robe on. There you go. Feel comfortable. But, uh, You're a gentleman. What if there's no clothes around? No. What are you, in a cave? <laughs> Kill a mammoth and wrap the fur around you. What? Wait, wait, yo, there's a phone. There's clothing. And that was, just a, that was just a friend. If that was my mother, I would have said automatically, I would have hung up. i got to call you back. Right. Exactly. You're not going to stand, what, you scratching your ass and... Picking and what, what are you doing? I, while you're on the phone naked with your mom. I admitted it. It was a little bizarre, but I, I just went through it. Oh, oh wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
you got some kind of perverted pleasure from this? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> no, 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 He's no, no, good. No. <laughs> You're an ass. We all heard it, Opie. <laughs> I, I think it's you were spanking it while you were on the phone with your mom. Hey, wait, <laughs> don't, don't pull an Opie on an Opie. Come on. Oh. That's my deal. Come well, on. If you've got Anthony in a closet having sex with a priest, I <laughs> yeah, think Anthony's exactly. got you swanking it while talking to your mom. No, that wasn't a closet with the priest. It was a phone booth. <laughs> I was on the phone with my mom. <laughs> Jesus. All right, You're well. Sick. You're sick. There you Thank you, Paul. Bye-bye. Thanks, See? Paul. See, I think the majority of the people agree that it's it's... You should put clothing on well, while speaking, if you're a guy, while talking to your friends, male friends. Girls, I don't care. I'll be on the phone naked. Or your mom. I'll admit it's it's a little bizarre, but if the other person doesn't know, who cares? Because you're, like I said, I'm it's not an audio-visual like even... experience. It's an audio-visual experience. You're hearing your friend, a guy, the guy you've known, in your ear. And you're looking around and looking down, I, and you're naked. I didn't say I'd be looking down. You're looking around. You're just naked. You know you're naked. Right. And your friend's voice in your ear. Ooh. Well, you know it's something else is in your ear. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, phone homo. Do we have to do 20 minutes on this? Hi. Phone homo. Eddie W. Hey, Opie. Yeah. Listen, I don't, I don't think it's a big deal if you're naked on the phone. That's what I said. You know? Why don't you come I mean, over I my think, house? I think it's cool. Like if you're talking to you know, like your wife's friend or something, another chick. Or, right, you know, right. You know what I'm saying? That's ver that's very cool. Yeah. I mean, if you know, you don't just you don't deal with it. You don't bother with it. If you're talking to your buddy, you know, he calls you. You're getting in the shower. You so know, you would talk to your guy friend stark naked. Yeah, you know, if you have to, you have to. There you go. What if you don't know he's naked too? Then you're you're having gay love right there. <laughs> no, if I know he's naked, it might be a problem. <laughs> yeah, if someone admits they're naked, then that then that's a whole different yeah, topic. Whole different Boy, thing. you know it, you're having phone sex, and you got to go to the hospital to get the receiver removed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't man. think that's gonna happen. Well, thank you. All right, fellas. Bye. Later. All right, I think we spent enough time on uh, naked phone conversations. Yes, very probing, in depth. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a phone homo. Well, I, this is not even me. It was between you and Rick. How did I get in this? I just thought because it was Because you, you just say that you don't care. And you're a phone pervert because you're on the phone with your mom naked. Well, that just yeah. happens. It's bizarre. It doesn't just happen. You, you find out it's your mom. You're like, oh, wait. You get some clothes on. Okay. You don't answer the phone naked. You never know who it is. Uh, be a priest soliciting money. Mm. You are naked. Mm, priest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got we got to take a break here. Um, God, we got so much stuff to do today. We really do. We've barely started. All right, so Opie and Anthony, before we get back to the music, hey, what do you got? Hey, Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Hey, guys, I want to know, you know, if it's um, the same rule applies if I listen to your show naked, which is what I always do. Jeez, <laughs> oh, what are we doing? What? Do you really listen to our show naked? Yeah. Oh, why? Why? Well, you know, I mean, you know, I'm uh, in the house, you know, and. Uh, you know, doing some cleaning, and, uh, you know, and it's, spring is coming up, and I'm naked, you know, I'm listening to your show naked. I can understand when the, the, the ladies are in here, but spring cleaning. Oof. Leaving trails of hair, little I, curly hairs. I Jesus. Can, Jesus. What, what? I can only imagine what people are doing while they listen to our show. I wonder how many people, like, have sex during our show, or... Oh. Yeah, it's a thought. Well, that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> I don't know. When you're on this end of the microphone, it's kind of strange yeah, to no. think what people are doing while they listen to us. Put pants on, okay? Put pants on? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we don't okay. want you listening naked. Okay. All right, yeah. man. Take care. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. Johnny Lang still raining. Sophie and Anthony, we had to cut in here because uh, we were wonder uh, wondering uh, what people did while they listened to our radio show. And uh, we got a, a doctor on the line? Hmm. Hi, N.E.W. What's going on, man? Hey, who's this? How are you? My name's Rob. Hey, Rob. How you doing? I don't know many doctors that say, hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> you don't? No, not really. Well, that's what happens when you're a second-year resident. Oh, okay. So what's the deal? You guys listen to us in the operating room? Well, I'm one of the residents that, uh, you know, they give us, uh, you know, they teach us, like, uh, circumcisions. Um... I, I, I watch ER. I know what a resident is. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was that easy, just looking cool. That would not be so bad. You're like that, you're like that hot chick from uh, Life Goes On on ER. Nah, not really, dude. Well, she's a resident. Well, yeah, but you know, or are you we more actually like no work. Are you more like Noah Wiley? We actually work. <laughs> we act. No, what it is is we actually work. Yeah. 
Yeah, like 18 hours. So ER is really not that believable to you guys? Um, some of it's kind of believable. I mean, it's I guess it's kind of cool from a TV aspect, but it's not that easy, you know? Okay. So Man, is, you do circumcisions? Uh, that was one of the first things I actually had to do. And let me let me tell you a little story. I, I was working at uh, St. John's Hospital right. out in Suffolk County. Uh-huh. Uh, doing uh, Duck work. sheet metal work. I'm, no, doctor. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't get disillusioned like I actually uh, so you did just something. Had a pair of tin snips. Yeah, tin snips. <laughs> no, I was working next to the, uh, the nursery. And through this window, I saw this kid getting a circumcision. And the poor little thing is in this little plastic tray. Yeah, we strap them down. They're strapped. Later, they're done. He's strapped down. And then they put this little apparatus on his uh, schween. Well, and it's um, it's like stretched. Being being <laughs> being from the lovely uh, Jewish heritage that I am from, uh, they call it a zemel. So the thing is, they just dip you in wine first. Oh really? Everybody eats while it's going on. They snap you, boom, you're done. Well, all I know is I saw this kid like strapped down to this little plastic thing that looked like a like a slide, like one of those little plastic slides, that you, a sled form. that you take down. Yeah, it's like got the little kid's body shape yeah, in it. Yeah, they do it so. Uh, from the child flying around, he can't hurt himself. Yeah, so he's strapped down, and then they put this apparatus over his schween and pull his schween through it. Yeah. So and, now it's yeah. like all stretched out, and the kid's just, <laughs> like, freaking out. You, and you, uh, Let me tell you something that's even worse. When you're standing right there and have to hear him scream, and you have to be pretty precise at this point in time. Yeah. God, yeah. that is horrible. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Uh, I, yeah, you know, I think maybe it sh they should wait till the kid gets a little older and let him make his own decision at that point. What that thing? The poor kid's just laying there. They don't uh, know what they don't. They don't know what's going on. And the worst part is they don't give them even a topical nothing. Just snip away. Oh man! All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to know what the hell's with you talking to your mother naked on the phone. Yeah, I'll be a sick me. bastard. I Thank think you. that's an issue maybe that you this might want to resolve in some sort of counseling. Doctor on wait, the wait, phone, wait, I'll wait, be wait. calling you a sick uh, bastard. Right, listen, listen, I I wasn't waiting around in my living room, you know, naked, knowing my mom was going to call on <laughs> Easter Sunday. God, the time you're calling, mom, she should be calling any minute. <laughs> Dude, I don't care. Your mother calls. Put on some clothes for Christ's sake. Exactly. Day. That's all I'm saying. I'm ready for it. That, that that's my an issue you might want to work out. <laughs> my, my two eggs and my peep are ready. <laughs> She usually calls about now. They got it all set up in a little Easter basket God. with a little green grass around it. I, I, I cut the bottom of the basket out. <laughs> <laughs> little bunny ears on it. And... You know, if I would have thought about that, I actually would have pulled that off with my girlfriend. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, all so right, why is the chocolate bunny twitching? <laughs> <laughs> why is the little bunny drooling? <laughs> oh, come on now. All right, so let's. God, we always got to go too far. All right, listen. So, um, so in the operating room, you have our show cranked. Uh, sometimes your show's cranked. Uh, let's see. One of one of the doctors the other day was actually listening to Ride the Lightning. Oh wow! Which is uh, uh, I think they were doing a splenectomy, <laughs> and I, he was listening to Ride the Lightning. Wow. Whatever relaxes them. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's it. I don't know if I want them operating on me listening to Ride the Lightning. I know what it does to me, so. <laughs> yeah, it gets you too juiced <laughs> up, right? Yeah, definitely, man. All right, man. Well, thanks for checking in. Definitely, bro. It was good talking to you. Take it easy. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Later, man. <laughs> Just got a fax here. We're asking, you know... Wondering about what uh, people do when they listen to our show. This just yeah. came in from uh, Monique. Me and my boss, Sam, were getting off while Earl was being disciplined by Spike. Whoa. They were doing it. They were doing it when they were listening to uh, Earl get uh, spanked. How about that? Her and her boss? This is getting a little bizarre. <laughs> That's nice. kind of cool, though. Mm. Uh, another one came in? I get wet listening to your show. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Gotta love that. More babble? Psycho babble? Yeah. Got a puzzled look on your face. Well, because it, then it was psycho babble. Mm. But she gets wet. Sign me. That's good. All right. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, find that on the on the tape. Yeah, we, uh, if you're just tuning in, um, we interviewed Larry Flint earlier. And, and it was really Larry Flint the first time. <laughs> yeah, the first time. Then Anthony got on the phone and did Larry Flint the second time. We have to explain some of this stuff because people get really confused. But uh, 
Uh, the interview was uh, going okay, but then we asked him if he ever saw Courtney Love naked, and his reaction is classic. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts laughing. <laughs> All right. Well, something to look forward to if you're just uh, tuning in the show. But who who do we have on the line? Me. Who's me? The, the first and probably only female who listens to your show anymore. Oh, <laughs> come on. We get a lot of girls that listen. Yeah. Who aren't topless dancers. No, we all oh, listen to you. Oh, yes. Yeah, the first time I listened to you, I wanted to leave New York. There was nothing to listen to on the radio. That didn't offend me. But now you like us or no? Ah, oh, you're funny. Okay, let's listen to her. Ah, what, yes. what, what all right, wait, let me, let, me, let me explain something because you bring up a good point. Okay. We do hear from the ladies all the time that we get, uh, you know, uh, preoccupied with the sex stuff. Okay? If you notice, we do try to space it out. <laughs> Um, I mean, Lord knows if it was up to Aunt and I, we'd have sex every day on our radio show. Yes. But we know there's more to do and more things now, to now, get Now, wait to. a minute. Anthony doesn't even like to talk to his friends when he's on the phone naked. Well, so why would guys. he have sex with you in the radio station every day? Sex with no, you? No, not, not oh, that. Oh, yes, I, I know what you meant. Oh, I mean, my. I'm, I'm yeah. pulling your chain. Yeah, you pull that chain. <laughs> <laughs> Make the water come anyway, out. Yeah. Anyway, you have like, obviously, you don't have a computer at home, do you, Anthony? Of, I, what are you kidding? I got the total hookup set up. Oh, really? Oh, of course. I'm the gaming maven. And, and, and you're not used to, like, sitting there at the computer uses the phone line. You're not used to sitting and chatting online. Wait, or, wait. Or, uh, right, like, me, naked? I'm right, let, not naked let on me the computer. Let me explain something with Anthony. Anthony got over that whole uh, computer sex thing very early. He barely very uses early. it for uh, porno anymore. He's into, like, online gaming. All right. No, everyone. He's, but it's, it's Anthony, like, wait, wait. Anthony has such a system at home that he's actually helping uh, the NATO effort in Kosovo. <laughs> yes, I am. That's how right sick. From my house. That's how sick. Sick Anthony setup is. I called in an airstrike the other day from my computer. It's fun. Uh, yes. He can't be bothered with the the porno chicks. Porno. Man. He's, he's the he's launching stuff. I'm not naked. I'm in a parka on my computer no, just no, in case no, somebody no. else is I'm, naked. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about bothering anybody or but, porno. I'm talking about just being used to walking around naked. All right, but let me you tell you. Lived in Manhattan long but enough. let me tell you something about Anthony. When he first got into the uh, the whole internet thing. He had a sneeze guard on his computer. <laughs> <laughs> looked like, yeah, like a salad bar. I had to hook it up over the keyboard. Was, 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 was that to keep the sneezes from coming out to you? Yeah, not out of my nose either. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, everybody, when they first get a computer, it's always porn, porn, porn. I don't care who you are. If the guy is downstairs and the wife's up in bed and he says, Honey, I'm, I'm down here doing the bills, honey. Boy, this computer's great. I'm really uh, uh, doing the bills. Online banking, honey. Online banking's a breeze, honey. I'll be up in ten minutes. Where is that? Teenass.com. You know? <laughs> of course, you just do that when you first get it. But after a while, I've had computers since uh, like Commodore 64. Yeah. Back in the early 80s. I mean, I, I got a, away from, well, I still look at a lot of smut, but I do other things too. Well, they can they can trace your uh, your IP address or whatever right, it so is, and then they send you a lot of crap and yeah, junk yeah, yeah. mail and right. who wants that. Um, but right. No, I'm just talking about walking around naked. My entire block does it. Really? Nobody puts their shades up. No, really, yes. And I wanted to uh, like get some diet aids for one of the women who had an apartment across the street. <laughs> big, she big. weighed like 400 pounds, and, and she had this uh, oh, this, this melon-colored, yes, like orange uh, bikini underwear. Oh, and, yeah. and that was not nice. Tell but, me uh, more. Yes, yes. <laughs> <Get> me <hot. laughs> Let's have phone sex. Some, sometimes, sometimes it's, uh, it's better, um, like the, the transvestite, but he moved out. He moved out. My friend got See, upset when she saw him dressing up or right. being dressed by his friends. So, so where was all this when Aunt and I uh, were put up in the city for a month and a half? And we're you weren't at... in the city then. Yeah, yeah we, we were. were. We... No, no, no. This goes back months. No, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm saying in general, like we. Oh, where is it going on? No. Uh... You have to live in one of the crummy little wow. walk-ups. All right, yeah, wow. because uh, I guess in Manhattan, uh, I don't know, we were facing this uh, whole apartment complex, and we didn't see nothing. There was there were hundreds of windows to choose from. We were less than, what, 200 feet away. We, we didn't saw see anything. We saw one old lady in a one-piece bathing suit stirring her sauce every night. <laughs> She'd be in her kitchen in a one-piece, one of those old lady flowered you're, type you're, you're uh, sure that's one pieces. <laughs> and, and her strap would always fall off her shoulder as she stirred that sauce. Wait, wait. Yeah, you stir that sauce. I got to tell you something. And this will be an, uh, an Opie and Anthony trivia question down the road. I think that's the first time I ever heard Anthony use the dirty uh, girl voice. That's true, because I was, I was watching her just going... Wait, 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 let me set the scene. <laughs> like, 
I was watching like uh, I don't know Sports Center or whatever, just something boring on TV, and and it's uh, at the window with the binoculars, and all of a sudden I just hear, "You stir that sauce, yeah. you take <laughs> stir it." You got that spoon. You grab that spoon and stir that sauce. And I'm like, hey, what the hell are you doing? He gives me a look, and it's this old lady in a one-piece bathing suit just stirring you're, sauce. You're teasing me with that strap off the shoulder now. I see it. Well, I, you're teasing I don't know. Me. I think uh, I think everybody found out who was moving within uh, within uh, seeing range, right. and and they just decided uh, I'm not going to go near my windows anymore until, right. until those Anthony and Opie creeks are out. Oh, uh, that so, must have been it. Well, because I've got a telescope. Uh, and I I don't need it. She I don't need it. I need like someone us, to come and wash my underwear so that I don't, I don't have to walk around us, half though, naked when I'm on the phone or at the computer. No. Right. That's great. <laughs> All right. Hello? Hi. Oh, okay. All righty. Okay, well, it's a, it's an entertaining show. I like it. And, uh, and you know what? I guess, I guess they're putting the screws to you to get nicer. No, to get nicer? nicer? You're not? All right, watch this. Screw you, bitch. <laughs> There we go. How about that? How's that for nice? <laughs> what a su- the Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. That's the band Indigenous. And now that you're gone, it's Opie and Anthony hey for now. the ride home. Hey, hey, hey. It's so weird to look over my shoulder, look out the window here. Daylight savings, Opie. Nice and bright out. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm a little upset, though, looking at the um, forecast. I see uh, USA Today, New York. Today, blue sky, crisp and cool. Tuesday, more sun, a delightful day, 65. Wednesday. Late showers. Oh, they're changing 69 that. 69 degrees. They're supposed to be showers in the morning and then um, well, I, s- sunny in the afternoon. I'll have to pop on CNN and see uh, what the current forecast is. But we hope for nice days on Wednesday. Correct. And for a high boob index. Yeah, whip them out Wednesday. Yeah, here it is. Chris from uh, Jersey. Dudes, got to ask, are there any rules for WOW regarding temperature to declare it an official whip them out Wednesday day? Well, Chris, no, but there is a boob sighting index. The higher the index, the more sightings there will be on any given day. Correct. The index is a uh, complex formula we won't go into here uh, related to weather conditions. Uh, it, it's more complicated than the Doppler 2000. Oh, yes, yes. You know the scale they use to uh, measure tornadoes and earthquakes and stuff like that? This one just is by far uh, much more complicated. <laughs> Can't even get into it here, <laughs> the theory of it. So, no, every Wednesday until uh, they tell us to stop, which will happen, I'm sure. Oh, mark our words, yes. Um, it, that's always the case. We'll be whipping out Wednesday. Where the mm-hmm. ladies are encouraged to uh, flash their fellow commuters on the ride home. Uh, All yeah. the guys need to do is put a wow in or on their vehicle. That makes your chances uh, greater. I saw a lot of trucks out there uh, this weekend driving around with the W O W on the back of the truck in the dirt. Yeah, the truckers got it easy because all they got to do is. Rub it into the back of the truck. It's amazing because we put the word out uh, last week. We begged the truckers to get on the CBs and get, you know, their rigs all set for Whip Them Out Wednesday. Whip them out. And it looks like they heard us, Anthony. Yes, so this Wednesday we will continue. And uh, this is just, uh, this has just begun. We only did it uh, one week thus far. Mm-hmm. Um, this thing's going to grow out of control. Oh, yeah. So jump on the band uh, wagon early here. Mm-hmm. All right? All right. All right. Um, oh, I got the phone calls finally. We were supposed to play this like two hours ago. Yeah, I want to hear this. Uh, Aunt, Aunt and I were, uh, how did we come across this tape again? I haven't heard this in years. I just had some stuff in the car we were going over. Yeah. And um, I found the tape of Two Bar. Yeah, with Red the Bartender. Red the Bartender. And if you know anything about this tape, it, it, it was the inspiration for uh, the whole gag they do on The Simpsons with Mo and Bart. Yeah. Calling up the bar and asking for fake names and stuff. Yeah, the weird names. Is Phil my crack in yeah. there? Yeah, exactly. So, Phil my crack in. So the tape, uh, I don't know, this is an okay copy. This yeah. was one of those tapes that in the early 80s, everyone was just dubbing and overdubbing and overdubbing and... You know, I got like a hundredth generation here, but I think it's clear enough where you can understand what's going on. All right. So you hear uh, Red, the the old grumpy bartender. His voice is classic. It sounds like, but he just married it. Yeah, he sure Come on, Rock. So uh, take a listen now. Hello. Hello. Uh, Alan? Hello. Hello. Yes. I 
two bar? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if you could help me. Uh, I'm looking for Phil Myers, M I Z A Myers. Phil Myers. Myers, yeah. Phil Myers. Phil Myers. Nobody but that name. You're not there? No. Okay, thank you. Hello? Yeah, I'd like to know if you could tell me if there's an I'll kill you there. Who? I'll kill you. I'll kill you? Yeah, kill you. Right. What's his name? I'll kill you. Oh, what do you say? I'm supposed to meet a few guys there, you know. Uh, could you call, uh, how about Stanley Payne? Is Stanley Payne there, you know? Stanley Schreiber? Stanley who? Stanley Payne. Hello? St Stanley Payne. What are you trying to kid me now? No. What's the matter with you? You want to kid me around here? What? Let's see you. David years. That's great. God, stuff, is man. that funny? <laughs> I'll, I'll kick your head in. <laughs> I'll go on. I'll kill you. <laughs> Joe Dill, no. <laughs> the guy can't stop laughing. 1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York. Days of the New, Touch, Peel, and Stan, and David Bowie, too. You're hanging with Opie and Anthony. Hello. Uh, we got the audio from earlier. So we have a whole new audience uh, listening. We had Larry Flynn on the phone earlier. The Larry Flynn from um, Hustler Magazine. Yeah. And uh, the guy now that has the Flint Report, which where he's, he's I don't know, just uh, unmasking the hypocrites, he says. And, and he's only focusing on the Republicans. Yeah, he's got dirt on a bunch of Republicans, uh, so he says. Well, it's coming out tomorrow. It's going to be all over the damn place. And uh, he's claiming that Mary, uh, Mary Bono Mary Bono had, a, had an affair, affair while married to Sonny. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we really couldn't understand anything else he really said. I remember Larry uh, with Hustler Magazine when I was a kid. I went over to my friend Roy's house. He had an issue with Hustler that was, it had a scratch and sniff, a sniff centerfold. <laughs> Swear to God. So this wrong. is the genius that is Larry Flint, who, coming up with new and innovative things. Yeah. And I remember, I, I guess I was probably oh, 10 or 11, and I wouldn't scratch and sniff it. Uh, I bet your friend did. Yeah, he's just like, come on, man. And he's like, the thing was almost scratched through. <laughs> to, to nothing, like there was a hole in it. He's like, come on, check oh, it out. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, man, he wasn't scratching it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, check it out, check it out. I'm like, no. Oh, why would I want to check that out? All right, out? so he scratched and sniffed it. Yeah. What? I, I have to ask, what does it like smell like? I didn't do it. I didn't scratch it. Well, did he explain it. it to you? Well, you're 11, though. What is he Yeah, I say? know, so he doesn't have anything to base it on. There's no way it actually smells like... He just said, uh, ew, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> we should all learn that lesson early, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go. Check, please. I had to go there, man. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, wow. Thanks for the setup, man. It's about, about time you gave me a setup. <laughs> Slow pitch softball. That's awful. Uh, Rick, grab the phones because now I think there's a bunch of people that have uh, have tried the scratch and sniff because uh, the phones just oh, went. Oh, really? Nuts. Interesting. All right, so Larry Flint was on earlier. Yeah. And, uh, well, I don't know. We asked him about uh, Courtney Love. Yeah, because she was in the movie, The United States versus Larry Flint. Correct. And uh, you asked him a question. I love that movie, by the way. 
Hey, did you ever see um, Courtney Love naked when you guys were filming that movie? Uh. <laughs> Is that a yeah, yes? Yeah, I've seen Courtney's push a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that. What would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, Courtney and... Uh, Wild. Yeah, wild. Yeah. I, I bet you she showed you some stuff. Mm. She had nice cans in that movie, too. Yeah. Did yeah. she show you her uh, balloon knot? <laughs> balloon knot. <laughs> That's one of the great uh, things about Hustler. You see balloon knots in Hustler. They're yeah. bent over everything. Well. All right, Larry doesn't want to play. All right, Larry. Well, Mr. Flint, thanks for checking in today. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seeing a bus a couple of times. <laughs> right. uh, well, here's a couple guys that tried the scratch and sniff. Oh, interesting. Here we go. All right, Phil. Phil. Hey, Yellow. Hey, Phil. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Phil. Yeah, how are you? Guys? All right. So you tried the scratch and sniff? I remember it well. All right, be careful now. Uh, what did it smell like? It, it didn't smell like the real thing, I'll tell you that. Well, what did it smell it, like? It was. It was smelled like perfume, really. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. It, well, uh, then it like, sure didn't. Like one, of, like one of those scents and uh, pieces of candy. Really, it, it didn't smell like the real thing, so it was kind of uh, disappointing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh. How about that? I didn't miss anything. Good. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. It was a big disappointment to tell you the truth. All right. And like you said earlier, it was practically scratched off at all the people. Yeah, to, uh, scratching it. Oh yeah. Oh, I think yeah. you weren't getting the full gist of it unless you bought the. Uh, magazine you were the first one right yeah the scratch and sniffs don't work that no, good after not the at scratching. all yeah. not at all it was yeah. boring really all right phil okay thank you thanks all right. Bye. after all these years i feel good i didn't miss much no uh jp hey how's it going guys good What's up? Uh, i'm just calling because i remember a uh, fond memory of my youth as well was sn uh, smelling a scratch and sniff hustler and, uh, you know, I expected it to smell like a can of bumblebee, but in reality, it smelled like perfume, like the other guy said. Hey, how about that? And God knows that is not what it smells like. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know who you're dating. <laughs> All right, if you find something that smells like perfume, you send it to me. All right, <laughs> All right. All right JP. All right, thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. <laughs> God, you got to be kidding me. We just oh, always, man. always end up here, don't we? Hey, Debbie, no wait. how we try to turn <laughs> off of this road, we always get detoured right back. I know. The cones are always set up, though. <laughs> hey, Debbie, what do you got? Hi. Um, so I just wanted to tell you, Saturday afternoon, I had the TV on while I was cooking, and I was watching an old, this old house, I believe it was old anyway, and the mayor of Boston appeared. Don Menino. Yep. Mm. And they interviewed him, and I couldn't tell you a damn thing he said because all I heard was the, all the stuff that you guys were playing the other day with um, yeah, our prank from last that year. whole interview. Right. It was great. I mean, he was really nerdy. He was, you know, we're reconstructing the town here. Yeah, he's a jackass. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I really called to tell you that um, I was just listening to you guys uh, cleaning my shower in a thong, but you're off the subject, so. Cleaning your shower in a thong? Were you, like, yeah. were you topless? Yeah. Wow, that is so weird. Uh, we got on this earlier. Aunt and I were just starting to wonder uh, what people do when they listen to our show. And we, we we bet that there's people out there that do strange things and have the radio on and they hear our voices and we find that a little bizarre. It was uh, it was fun though thinking about it, listening to you guys doing that. And you were scrubbing your tub. You were. Uh... So do you wear the thong uh, and and nothing else for a reason in the tub, so you don't. Get yeah, your... so I don't get my clothes wet. Oh. But okay. then. Um... I figured, hey, I was listening to you guys, and that subject was a little titillating, yeah. so I took my clothes off. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Unfortunately, then a bunch of guys also took their clothes off that, uh, we, that we have heard from and said they were doing other things while listening to our voice. We don't I need figured that. you needed to hear the female side. Yeah, we appreciate that. All right, take care. Love you guys. All right, man. The best mm. one today thus far is the doctor who took out a spleen while listening to our show. <laughs> N nothing like reservoir dogs yet, though. No, no, where they're hacking ears off or something. Or something. All right. yeah, yeah. Hey, do we have time to play a clip from uh, Dennis Miller's show? What do you got? I must admit, not a huge fan of Dennis Miller because his vocabulary is just so ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like having to pull out a thesaurus when I'm watching a comedy show. Well, uh, it's like, okay, Dennis, we get it. You're really intelligent, but, you know, it, it, he, he just tries to use words, and it, no one uses the words in the, in the contents, uh, context that he uses them yeah. in, and it's just ridiculous. But besides that, 
He had uh, Norm McDonald on. Yeah. And Norm, I think, is one of the funniest comedians out there, by far. Always uh, yeah. believed in this guy. Funny guy. Um, and the, the new show, by the way, is not bad. The Norm show. Really? I haven't seen it. I yet. don't watch many sitcoms, but I checked it out and it was pretty good. But anyway, uh, Norm McDonald was on with Dennis Miller, and uh, it just got really, really funny. All right, bear, All right. bear with uh, Norm McDonald's delivery here because he's a little slow. It well, that's Norm's delivery. Right. It takes him a while to get to the punchline, but trust me, there's a payoff here, okay? All right. All right, let's take a listen to this from, uh, I guess, this weekend's uh, Dennis Miller show. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I love that. And then Dennis Miller's got to come on. <laughs> yeah, the maturation of your... The maturation. <laughs> How about, you know, that's like when the Philistines... You know, I, you're like, what, what is Dennis even talking about? He has to up him one, you know? It's like, oh. it's, like, it's like, let Norm have the laugh. He had the big laugh there, but you have to outdo him now. You, you know, know, the Zinglophidolidites <laughs> once said, Fironathlony <laughs> and Stockin' him off on your... And, you know, that's just funny. Beep! <laughs> it's like, Dennis, man, what happened to just talking? Right. The guy must eat dictionaries and thesauruses. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I ever heard since the Draclamophiles <laughs> said to Draclafloclales, flung the doof the off. <laughs> yeah. What? What did Dennis say? What? And you're in the audience like, ha, ha, yeah. I'm not stupid. I, what, is, what does he mean? I can't not laugh or I'll look stupid. Like, I don't know what flunk la fleas means. Dennis. What happened to the guy that did the news on SNL? Oh, man, that's good. Babe. All right. <laughs> hey, we, we have an action-packed show today. Making up for Friday's debacle, I guess. <laughs> hey, we had fun Friday. Yeah, we did have fun. Um, if you didn't hear it from earlier, we're going to replay the Yoshi song. Hi. The Yoshi song. Yes, there's a, a Yoshi song now. Uh, and he delivered it personally uh, before. I don't know if we could get him back in here. Uh, maybe he's in the area. We'll see. you got to call him up so he delivers it. Yeah? Everyone's this is the only way to get him in. He doesn't leave his restaurant unless he's, he's delivering food. So call up with some uh, Ching Fua and Wang Cha and Fa Chang Pak. All right, so we're going to try to get Yoshi back in here. See, I was trying to do the imitation. I, I can't do I it. Know, I can't. It was close, though. I'm trying. I mean, you're really good at imitations. Ching Fua, I, I think if you, I think if you spend a couple weeks on that, you could uh, just, really get it down. I can't get the tone that he gets. Right. Chang so, Wang Chang. Just think uh, model airplane. Wang Chang. See, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're back on the radio, and uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to play here. <laughs> what are you doing? Look, the boss is watching Well, the watching boss you, is though. here. He distracts us, and now look. He wanted to chat. I'm going to have to blame it on the boss. Oh, this is and so You weren't awkward. ready. Look. Uh, All right, now i got to wait five seconds for the CD to queue up. Well, you could talk about it. What is it? Uh, bad company. Oh, I don't okay. really want to talk about the song. Trust oh, me. Yeah. Good song. Uh, the Yoshi song on the way. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, the latest from the Black Crows, Only a Fool. Uh, the Crows wrapping up their solo tour, and then um, they're going to do a tour with Lenny Kravitz and Everlast. That's going to be a cool bill. Mm. Uh, May 29th at Jones Beach, and May 30th at the PNC Arts Center. Uh, no on-sale ticket info yet. And then after that, because I think they're doing, like, just, I don't know, a bunch of dates, and then it's going to be Lenny Kravitz and uh, Black Crows all summer long. Mm. Wow, music knowledge on our show. That would be cool to see at the beach. Oh, well, I can't yeah. wait to go to Jones Beach. I haven't been there in, mm, wow, three years. I was there for the last Aerosmith show that they postponed, so it was a little nippy. <laughs> Wasn't that in, like, October or yeah, something? Yeah, remember they had to postpone it until uh, the weather got cold. But it was still cold, but I, I want to go to the beach for a summer show. Yes. Yeah. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. All righty. Hi, NEW. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? All Listen, right. when you were doing the Yoshi bit. The Yoshi bit. Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> Yoshi, Yoshi, whatever. I was working in Oriental's house. Right. They're and Asians. I saw the girl. She, she, she looked like she wanted a wig out. Uh -oh. And I was trying to explain to her about the Chinese Viagra. <laughs> and the paw. <laughs> I, it. It was, I, I like I wanted to turn it off, you know, but then I said the hell with it. I'm gonna leave it on. Yeah. You know, and, and went through the whole thing, but you could see that she she was getting really insulted. You know what? She she was nice looking though. Yeah. She was really. <laughs> I, I want I wanted to know. It's really true. They do have Chinese Viagra. Uh yeah. Yes. Yeah, really? That whole bit we did with Yoshi is was based on uh, <laughs> reality, sorta. Natural herb. A natural herb. Well, I gotta go back to work there tomorrow to finish off the job. All right. 
So I'm, I want to see what I can do here and see if uh, I, I, I can get some of that stuff. So, so she's real hot, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, she was nice. Short legs, flat butt? Oh, what? What'd you say? Uh, what? Check, please. No, no, no she, she was nice. She's Short nice, nice legs, flat butt? That's just what I look for in a woman. What? Short legs and a flat butt? No, no flat butt here. I mean, she was nice. I don't understand well. what Opie was even talking about there. You've been to Disney World. Shut up. <laughs> No, she was good looking. She's a good looking. I want to try to go there and see if I could do anything. Let's see if I could everyone. hook up. All right. All right, guys. Give uh, us a good watch. All right, man. All right, take care. <laughs> He's not listening to your babble. That's okay. Yeah. Thank well, you, Earl. Check, please. <laughs> well, where is Yoshi? He was supposed to come back in here. Uh, I was uh, Why? <laughs> why are you uh, order more food? Well, Yoshi. Uh, wait, wait. No, not the order. Oh, you have to get uh, out the orders again. Okay. Bobby, you had a turn fire, turn fire, pork. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank and, you. Uh, Anthony, Anthony, you had a fat one, turn fire, pork. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, who Rick! Rick had the... <laughs> With a brown sauce. <laughs> what about Earl? Earl ordered some Earl. food. Earl had the... <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I deliver. Very dishonorable day. Why? Well, you know, I'm a uh, Japanese. Yes. People uh, say, why Yoshi... I work at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> right. Very uh, big controversy on Opie and Anthony Shaw. Right. Because people say, his name Yoshi, not a Japanese name. Right. Why he work at Chinese place? Correct. And uh, I want people to know, Yoshi not real. <laughs> <laughs> but you look real. I'm looking right at no, you. No, I'm real. i Japanese. Okay, you're Japanese. Very dishonored. So you're a Japanese guy working at a uh, Chinese restaurant. Is that so hard to believe? <laughs> okay. Very dishonored at... Hideki Arabu. It's like a white guy uh, working at Popeye, Popeye's Fried Chicken. <laughs> I don't even know what you mean by that. Sorry. But it's funny. <laughs> Sorry about that. Very dishonored by Hideki Arabu. Okay. Very dishonorable. Big fat pussy toad. Well, that's what the boss called him. That's very uh, insulting. Yeah. He's big fat road. <laughs> very dishonorable. He's had too much pork, I guess. Much too much pork. Okay. <laughs> Big pig no. ass pork. <laughs> no. Now, Yoshi, you were by earlier. You dropped by this song. Hey. Now, when you left here earlier, you were running to the other radio stations to deliver it. Yes, the river song. Yeah. Try to uh, hit the big, get the video on an MTV. Right. You're trying to get this on MTV as a video. Hey. Did you have any luck getting the other radio stations to play your little song? No. No. No, they don't let me in. <laughs> they wouldn't let Say you in. Say you was on Opie and Anthony first. <laughs> Not around on our show. <laughs> I don't know how you people work. Man, that's so inside, but great. Why can't we all just get along? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. WNEW New York, Infinity Broadcasting. Anthony, we got to welcome back to the show MindSpring. MindSpring Internet Service, yes. They were with us early on. They took a little break, and they are now back once again with us. This is good. If you're uh, heavy into the net, computing, and you want speed and reliability, 56K connections, true 56K not where you you have a 56k modem you hook up a 288 all the time. Correct. What is that? That sucks is what it, it is. It does. Uh, also excellent 24/7 toll-free customer support and easy to use software. And also I'm reading here cuz they gave us some new copy points. MindSpring is the very best internet service provider in the industry. That's right. They were rated best ISP by PC World and PC Computing for 1998. That's not too shabby. How about that. So if you want hassle-free internet surfing, if you want hassle-free internet shopping, you got to check out uh, MindSpring, Anthony. Yes. All you have to do is give them a call. 1-888-MSPRING. That's 1-888-MSPRING. And be sure to tell them you heard it from Opie and Anthony. And MindSpring will waive the $25 setup free and give you the first 30 days of service free from the day you sign up. So if you, you are new to the Internet mm. or you just want to leave your online frustrations behind. All right, we got to get to this guy really fast because I think he's on a car phone or something. Remember we were asking people uh, the strange things they do while listening to our show? Yeah. Okay. Just got a, this guy has a story that uh, can relate to that. Hi, NEW. Hey, guys, how are you? Good. What's up, man? We got you live on the air. What do you got? Hey, listen, I apologize if I'm mumbling. I just came from the dentist's office. I got a mouthful of Novocaine. 
I want to thank you guys. So I sit down in the, in the chair, and the guy gives me laughing gas. I have to have a root canal done. He goes, hey, have you ever heard these guys on one or two sevens? So we pop on the headphones, right? You guys start talking about scratch and stuff. I start laughing. That suction thing hooks onto the punching bag that you have in your throat. <laughs> the punching bag, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm cracking it up. I tell you guys the best. I'll have a root canal done with you guys any day of the week. Oh. <laughs> he had a root canal done while he's listening to us. Uh, it was, How it about was the that? best. Well, maybe if we could give all our listeners uh, laughing gas, they'll enjoy the show a little bit more. Mm. <laughs> you guys are funny, man. It just amplified it a little bit. You guys are the best. I amplified it. All right. Right on, man. So I give you guys a shout. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. All right. Bye. 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 You want to do that Mary Poppins song? One zero two seven W N A W the Rock of New York Creed in my own prison. Anthony's still doing his Dennis Miller impression. We're, ma we're making up Dennis Miller words that he can use in his act. They're they're not real words, but they sound real big, and no one knows what they mean anyway. Yeah, just like in his act. Right. So you don't know what it means. I I'm convinced that Dennis Miller uses words that don't exist yeah. just to see if he can pull it over on us. Well, that's just your uh, attitude being so valstrifidous <laughs> that you don't even understand my act. <laughs> It's just like somebody being as uh, non-quintensical as uh, yourself. It's like Shalfafanes once said. But he took the to the uh, Philistines. Right. He took his salpupoli. <laughs> they go, ah, oh, wait, I can't thump through the thesaurus the fast enough. All right. Uh, Owen A, uh, Wednesday is coming. We need to spread the word in Jersey, especially around the Central Shore area. I've listened to you since last September. You guys are great. Keep it up. I love Whip Em Out Wednesday. Who doesn't? Yeah, uh, Wednesday's coming, and uh, we're hearing from everybody. They're getting their wow signs ready for their car. Yeah. Or cars, I should say. And look at the primitive dr uh, drawing that uh, Scott wrote on this fax. <laughs> A little wow mobile. Girl flashing. Very nice. Wow, it's going to be big, really big. I, I, <laughs> you think we could have uh, William Shatner, William Shatner endorse Wow for us? I'm sure he would. Okay. Who doesn't like that? Look at this picture, man. Wait, wait. Hey, hey. how about Third Input Thursday? Oh. Uh, you know, now you're just going too far, Scott. Oh, everybody starts coming up with other days. Okay. Please. Do you see this pic in the paper of the Pope? I see the Pope and the he's... Pope pic. And he's uh, kissing someone's feet. Kissing guy's feet. He's got a... Uh, w where was that in the job description? I don't know. When he wanted to be the Pope. That he's got... And why does the Pope have to get down and kiss people's feet? He washes them, I guess, first, which is a good practice. But look, it's an old, gnarly clergyman foot. Yeah. And he's just smooching it. Well, could you imagine if the Pope actually has a foot fetish? <laughs> yeah. This is great. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, gosh darn. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you better watch what you say when you're talking the about the Pope. Jesus, when you're talking about the Pope. I think the Pope talks to people on the phone naked? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. I don't know. Well, well, I was saying when I get on the phone with a friend, I, I, I make sure I have pants on. Yeah. I was wondering if the Pope, if the phone rings when he's ready to go into the shower, the Pope's got a shower, if he just picks it up, hello, <laughs> Pope, I'm not wearing any clothes, but uh, I still have my Pope hat on, but it's not on my head. <laughs> well, you never know. Pope. <laughs> That's so wrong. You don't picture the Pope like soaping up, you know? Yeah, in the shower. Oh, they get the armpits. <laughs> mm. uh, you put that on your resume that you're a good foot kisser when you're, foot tra <laughs> when you're trying for the Pope's job? <laughs> I've uh, kissed feet in college. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I got the Mary Poppins song. Ah. Now, I was going through the Opie and Anthony archives, and we really missed the boat on this one. It's a song we uh, used to play a lot um, at another job. You guys know all about that yes. now, finally, because yes. of last week we explained it all. But um, I remember the story was in the paper about pot and how it should be legalized for medical use. Of course. A lot of people think that. A big controversy. I think mm -hmm. it is legal in a few um, places. Yeah, the people that are against it say um, you shouldn't have to smoke your drugs. They can make... Uh, the effective parts of pot into drugs that you can take in a pill form. Correct. That's not half the fun is going, <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but I guess it's pretty effective if you're suffering from pain and stuff. Yeah, yeah. why not? And uh, it's, a, it's a big controversy. <laughs> I yeah. love that. Mary Poppins uh, smoking some doobies. Who ever thought? <laughs> Who thought we'd see the day? Mary Poppins. Now we've gone too far. That's sacrilege right there. I haven't seen that movie in years. But if, you, if you've seen Mary Poppins, I think a lot of people were smoking dope to come up with that concept. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. We'll have, like, this nanny chick. <laughs> right. And she'll, like, take care of these kids, but she, like, flies and stuff. Yeah. That'll be cool, right? They'll all get high and then have some tea on the ceiling. But, dude, she needs, like, an umbrella to fly. Yeah, an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Ed Wynn in that? I believe so. Wasn't Oh, it? don't you know? The wacky voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, Mary! <laughs> <laughs> Can you spell fag? <laughs> oh, how are you doing, Mary Poppin? Hey! I got an umbrella stand for you. Let me bend over. <laughs> <laughs> and look after it's in. You can open it, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mary, I'm flying, too. <laughs> Wee! Woo-hoo! <laughs> I'm, fly- I'm flaming. You're flying. I'm flaming. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember him? You know, if there's a mo- if there's a movie on TV on the weekend and he's in it, I have to stop and watch because it's just, oh. it's just so freaking funny that voice. What a fruit! <laughs> oh, look at me, don't you know? I'm flying! Oh, look at the young boy! <laughs> Nice little flowery hat, Mary. Is that a pansy? (laughs) Or am I just the only pansy here? (laughs) God, stick the umbrella in my ass. (laughs) Open it, Mary. Open the umbrella in my ass. (laughs) Whoa!